refer to a country in a state of extreme need. And this is not a, only a Greek problem, it's a problem also of the structure of the Eurozone and of Europe. Because right now, in my opinion, the problem is in one hand the southern countries, such as Greece, Ireland, Portugal, Spain or maybe Italy, who face subjugation, recession, impoverishment, and in the long run the, bank, the risk of bankruptcy, they face a difficulty to find their feet because there are recurrent attacks by the speculator. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, we see the powerful countries and circles of the Eurozone, such as Germany, to not to consent to a plan of true alleviation. Instead of doing that, they proceed to usurious lending to the weak countries. For example, the, the, the rates of interest of the loans which Troika have lent to Greece are much more than those that the state creditors borrow for themselves. For example, Germany borrows at 0.5% and then afterwards lends to Greece to 5%. Mm -hmm. That's a usurious lending. And this, this is also a financial cannibalism against a member state within the European family, which is, I believe, the higher risk for the values of Europe. What I say, the economic crisis in Greece, as described by Vasilis and you, has been an opportunity for inadmissible enrichment of some other countries or institutions who gain inadmissible profits at Greece's expenses, at the expenses of a crime of, of a country who is dying. Now it seems